it looks like that, especially on paper. But I tell you what, this TCU team, a resilient team, they're a defiant team. Max Duggan is playing at a very high level, great dual threat quarterback, and they love him. They love him because of his story. Lost his starting job, didn't pout, didn't complain, worked his butt off, became the starter, and has been balling. I got the Horned Frogs. I love TCU's team in the Big 12. Okay, I like what they've been up to. I like Quentin Johnson, a wide receiver. I think he's a hell of a player. Yeah. But you're going into Morgantown, okay? And they're Mountaineers for a reason. There are hills up there. There are bars ready to be unleashed from one side of Morgantown to the other. From High bars. Street to Grant Fun. Street and all the houses in between. They're celebrating, knocking off a top 10 team in Morgantown today. This is the first time I've been able to pick the school I went to on this desk. Yeah, yeah. And it's because the other team's playing them. Give me West <laughs> Virginia by 10 to 20 today, Steve. Usually Ray. when West Virginia makes noise, particularly when they win a big game, it's because they put a whole bunch of points on the board. It ain't because they stop anybody. Doug is going to get off today. That's I'm right. going with TCU to knock off West Virginia. Just I thought you were going to be there for you. I'm trying to be there for you. I'm trying to be there for you. West Virginia, <laughs> it's, it's like this, right? Yes. You're just going to hope that the Hills and, and the, the way they play. C.J. Donaldson, Bryce Ford Wheaton, J.T. Daniel, Graham Hill. I just, I just think TCU with Duggan, you guys have talked about them for the last three or four weeks. They're just too many points. 45 points a game. They're going to outscore them. Yeah, man. Okay, we're skipping over Florida, Georgia, because everybody's picking Georgia. The other SEC game, Kentucky and Tennessee. Kirk, no pick. He's calling it. Who wins? The catch or the balls? I like the fact that Cedric Tillman returns today against UK. I think that uh, Tennessee's offense is just too much for Kentucky's defense. I got, I got Tennessee winning big. I think this is going to be a good game. I don't believe it's going to be big. And I've been baptized in the waters of the Tennessee River, and I appreciate <laughs> those balls and the Vol Navy down there. Give me Tennessee winning, but I think it's going to be close, Stephen A. Bringing up baptism. That's what we're doing. Okay. Let's <laughs> Let me I did a backflip into the This kid Hooker is special. He yeah. is my vote for the Heisman. 100%. Okay. Uh, 571 yards. At, I mean, a game, a game, uh, yes, sir. 50 yep. points a, a game. game. Yep. Tennessee, yeah. I'm not going to say it's going to be a romp, yeah. but I think they're going to drop another 50 Ooh, today. Ooh, <laughs> That's hey, what I think. I got hit a half a <laughs> let's, do, let's do this one right. real quickly. <laughs> Ole Miss, Texas A&M. We talked about the issues at A&M, so I'm going Ole Miss. Ole Miss trying to build for something real special in a couple of weeks. Give me Ole Miss. I don't know what the hell is going on with Texas A&M. They're going to lose this game, too. I'm not picking them for anything right now. I don't like the way they look <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's the time. You know how college football is. You don't like them at all. That's usually when they show up and play okay. well, and they win. They're back home. Bear likes them. Uh, I, I just think Ole Miss is defensive. Defense could be the difference in this football game. AM's trying to find an identity. I don't know if they can find it against Ole Miss. You got, you got uh, AM? 4 0 and no. I, I, I was Stephen A. <laughs> picking them for anything until right. they do yeah. something. Like Stephen A. Penn State and Ohio State. This is um, the Buckeyes' second time leaving Columbus. The first time was against Eastern Michigan. I think the results will be the same, but I don't think that they're going to beat Penn State as bad as they beat Michigan State. So I got Ohio State over Penn State. I'm with you. We've talked a lot about it today. I'm with Ohio State and the Buckeyes. Continuing to prove they're pound for pound the best team in the country right now. Stroud, 28 touchdowns, four interceptions, mm -hmm. unstoppable in the red zone, mm -hmm. and you're going up against a team that y'all just articulated had struggle, tr struggles tackling last week. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Penn State is going to lose this game considerably. I, I see I see a atmosphere at Penn State keeping the game close. I think the Ohio State offensive line communication issues could be a concern. Eventually the game settles down and it's about execution and that's where Stroud, <laughs> the running game and the big plays, second half they pull out. I marvel at this guy. He's such a nice guy. When he knows in his heart, somebody's yeah. going to get blown out. Exactly. He's still going right. to find something nice to say. I'm to, I want to be this man when I grow up. I'm telling, I'm no, you don't. It's worked out okay for you. State. Jackson State is 7 0 for just the second time in 60 years. Southern and arch rival. They're at the top of the SWAC and all the standings. Jackson State has the best defense in the FCS. Forget all the records. They're ready to blow out the subwoofers in the Boombox Classic. Jackson State and Southern is an atmosphere unlike no other. We focus on trying to do better than what we did when we played them last year. Not be scared, go out there and play our game. What the world is witnessing now what's been going on for ages in uh, the Southwestern Atlantic Conference. The intense rivalry, but now the world gets to see it. It's a level of excitement, but then there's a level of expectation. We always talk about we put on for our city. We need to put on for our city for real. We got to make this the best thing that ever happened for Jackson, Mississippi, and we got to win.
Who wins the game, Jackson State or Southern? This is a heated rivalry. Last year when these two teams played, after the game was over, there was a fist fight. They do not like mm. each other, but Shadur Sanders is going to be the difference. You've got to be patient because they're going to rush three and drop eight. But I got Jackson State first. Yeah. You know, Sanders obviously gets a lot of attention, and he should. But B. Sean McCray, the quarterback on the other side, has been outstanding. This is an offense, by the way, from Southern. 39 points a game. This has a feel of potentially a shootout type of game, but we're here to celebrate what Jackson State's been doing with Dion. I'm going with Jackson State. Okay. When I heard that Stephen A. Smith was going to be the guest picker, oh. yeah. Yeah. I pontificated profusely <laughs> about what I was going to wear. I put a tie on on this Halloween weekend to show respect for Stephen A and everything he does on the day-to-day -day in the suit on TV. So. Last night, I got to eat a little Johnny T's. I went to the Boombox Battle of the Bands last night, and it was the most electrifying thing I have ever been a part of. You walk around campus, and they say, Fired up, J State, fired up. <laughs> you talk about Coach Prime. Coach Prime says this is a moment. I need a moment. The moment ends with that song being chanted all evening. Give me Jackson State like they won the battle of the bands last night. It's really very simple. It's really very simple. <laughs> fly down here this morning to watch my brother prime time lose a game jackson state went eight consecutive years losing the southern before they broke that streak last year and they beat them they gonna do it again jackson state big time today they take them out yeah. that's why i'm here that's why i'm here <laughs> come here to watch jackson state and my man prime time mess up and lose this game they're gonna handle their business and make and make sure to remind southern it's a new and it's called prime time, even in the daytime. It's Jackson oh, State, man. big today. All right, all right. Today. I like the motivated. What a morning it's been here in Jackson. Great thanks to Stephen A. Smith. Thanks for coming. Week Corso, you, hoping he gets well, is ready with us next week. We always miss him. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.